Why are the Army's futuristic new goggles tactically useless? The Army's much-hyped mixed reality goggles have a major problem. They're so uncomfortable to soldiers that they are all but tactically useless, according to a new report from the Defense Department's top weapons tester. During testing as recently as this past May and June, soldiers outfitted with the Integrated Visual Augmentation System IVAS, suffered from mission-affecting physical impairments such as headaches, neck pain, nausea, and eye strain, according to a report from the Pentagon's director, Operation Test and Evaluation DOTNE, obtained by Bloomberg News. A significant majority of those soldiers who reported experiencing those symptoms said that the ill effects began less than three hours after using the IVAS, Bloomberg reports. Noting that the DOTNE report indicated that the system is still experiencing too many failures of essential functions. It is not surprising that the IVAS, a ruggedized variant of Microsoft's off-the-shelf HoloLens 2 augmented reality headset, is egregiously uncomfortable. The unclassified version of the DOT and E's 2021 annual report on Pentagon weapon systems noted that use of the system resulted in nausea, pressure on the face, and neck strain. But the Bloomberg report reveals exactly how much soldiers truly hate the system. Acceptance of the goggles by soldiers remains low and they and their leaders indicated they don't contribute to their ability to complete their mission. If this sounds familiar, it should, a DoD Inspector General report warned as much back in April. Noting that procuring IVAS without attaining user acceptance could result in wasting up to $21.88 billion in taxpayer funds to feel the system that soldiers may not want to use or use as intended. In short, no matter how many fixes IVAS maintainers manage to deploy to keep the system running, soldiers don't necessarily see it as tactically useful whatsoever. A trend that may end up relegated to the bottom of soldiers' rucksacks rather than providing an edge on the battlefield. In another strike against the much-hyped headset, one tester proclaimed that the light generated by the IVAS when the goggles are active would have gotten us killed in a real-life tactical situation. According to a separate Army report reviewed by Business Insider, 